Hi, I'm going to uh, teach you a new dice game today and the game is called Beat It. So we're both going to roll dice, me and you, and whoever gets the um, highest number yells Beat It. So if I get a six, if I roll a six, I'm going to yell Beat It for sure because most likely you've rolled a number smaller than me. If I roll five, I'm going to say, did I beat it? So there's mm. lots of times I might roll a two and you might roll a one and therefore I beat it as well, but uh, chances are pretty slim. So I'm just going to assume that you're winning with the small ones. So whenever you get a number bigger than mine that I show you, you get to yell beat it. And this is a game that you can play um, at home too afterwards. So you can teach, teach someone in your house. So let's do a practice one. So go find your dice, hit pause, find your dice, come back. Great. Hi. Welcome back. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to roll the dice and let's see what I get. So on the table. Six. So we're hoping that we're going to be able to look at our number and, and start being able to tell just that fast what that number is without having to be like, Ooh, what is that number and counting? So if you have three and three, that is six because three plus three is six. And if you get that one, you know it's four and if you get one that has one in the middle well if that's a four then that must be the shape of a five so it's memorizing the shape of the dots as well and what order they're in to know what number you're rolling okay ready so you have your dice okay let's go so if I roll a six I'm gonna yell beat it but if you roll a number bigger than mine then you get to say beat it so here we go ready go I have a two Good job, I bet you won that one. Here we go. One, two, three, roll. Oh, you beat me again. Okay, one, two, three, roll. Oh, did you beat me again? Oh man, I'm losing at this game. One, two, three, roll. Oh, you totally won that one. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, roll. Come on, big numbers. Oh, did you win? You're definitely winning. One, two, three, roll. Oh. One, two, three, roll. Mm. Ah, did I win that one? Mm. One, two, three, roll. Darn it. One, two, three, roll. Seriously, I'm actually trying to win and doing this bad. One, two, three, roll. Four. Did I win that one? One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. Yes, beat it. What did I get? Six. Okay, sorry. We're supposed to be respectful what? when we win and not make fun of other people when they lose. All right. I guess I'm still working on that part, apparently. Don't! You won. Good job. One, two, three, roll. Away. Oh, I got a three. Did you beat me? One, two, three, roll. <gasps> beat it! Do, 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 do. Yeah, Good yeah. job. Oh, yeah. Right. We're not doing that. No. <laughs> Obviously no. <not. laughs> One, two, three, roll. Sorry, I'm competitive. What can I say? Oh, you beat me. One, two, three, roll. Three. Did you beat me? One, two, three, roll. I have a four. Woo. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. I almost rolled a six, but went to a four. Good job. Did I win that time? Maybe. One, two, three, roll. And sometimes we might get a tie. Four again. So if you and I both roll the same number, then that's called a tie. That just means we roll, or we both can get a point, maybe. One, two, three, roll. Ding, 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 ding. Beat it. One, two, three, roll. Probably lost that one. All right. 
So good for you. That's called beat it. Um, if you have two dice, we can make the game a little bit harder. So some of you might be ready for this. For some people, this isn't, you don't need to make it any harder. That's, that's a great kindergarten game that we were just playing. But if you want to make it a little bit trickier, you would add a second dice. Is that one? Oh yeah, that one's dark enough. I'll use those two dice. I'll use my, it's like a yellowy green color and a black one. All right, here we go. So, this time you roll two dice and your partner would, would roll two dice as well. And you see what is a double digit number that you could make. Ooh, so for example, I have a three and a three. So that would be 33, what? 33. So then maybe the person I'm playing with, so I have 33, and maybe the person I'm playing with got that. And so if they put it like this, uh, I don't know with, the, vid the video turns it around, so I'm not entirely sure, but so it could be a 51 or a 15. So 15 is a smaller number, a one and a five, because it has one group of 10 and five left over. I can make that number bigger by putting my five first. And then I would have five groups of 10 and one left over. So I would have 51. So this game's gonna be pretty hard um, for most of you. I wouldn't think that most kindergartners could build the biggest double digit number with two dice. This is a game I would definitely play in grade two, maybe the end of grade one, maybe. But maybe you are feeling super smart with numbers and this is a game that you wanna try or at least practice with uh, someone in your family and then you might learn about double digit numbers. So I'm gonna roll again, let's see what numbers I get. Ooh, what did I roll? A two and a six. So I have 26. Or if I wanna make it bigger, do, 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 do. I could have 62. So whatever dice you roll that's the biggest dice, you want that number to come first. That's how you make your biggest number. So if I rolled a five and a six, which number is bigger, five or six? Yeah, six is a bigger number. It has more dots. You can even count and see. So you know this one's the bigger number because it has more dots on the dice. This one has six dots and that one has five. So if I build the biggest number I can, I take the number that has the most dots first, which is a six. So that one's gonna be called 65. 65, okay, let's roll again. Ooh, what did I roll that time? Two fives. So I have 55. What if I turn them around what if I put that one first? What do I have? Yeah, I still have 55 because <laughs> they're the same number. All right, ready? Let's see it again. Ooh, what did I roll this time? A three and a four. I have to put my biggest number first. Which one's my biggest number? Yeah, okay. Four goes first. Okay, so now I have 43. 43. Good for you. I think you're getting the hang of this. All right, ready? Okay, I rolled a four and a one. Which one's bigger? Yeah, so it's going to come first and it's called 41. 41. Doo, doo, doo. That's a really big one. All right. Last one. Ooh, I have a three and a four. Which one's bigger? Four, that's right, so I put it first. And so what's my number? What number is that? 43. And I do it the other way, it was 34. <laughs> or 43, there you go. So that would be, um, 
building the biggest number you can every time you roll. So if I was rolling and I'd be like, oh, I got 22, what did you get? And then your partner rolls and they go, oh, I got 14. Wait a minute, 22 is bigger than 14, so you'd think I won. <gasps> but actually you could turn them around, 41, so 41 is the winner. So you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with, with something like that. So we played the first time and we played it, beat it. We just rolled. I lost it, right? So then, and you win a bit, uh, roll a bigger one, so then you win at, in beat it. And this is double digit beat it. So that one's extra hard. There you go. Have a lot of fun playing your new dice game. Bye.